You are back with the Macintosh family. I'm Ashley. I'm Benson. I'm Maverick. And make sure to like and subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Make sure to um, follow us on YouTube and hit that thumbs up. All right, guys. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Baby Jogger City Mini GT2 stroller and travel system. So a couple things on this one. Um, City Mini and Baby Jogger makes a couple different stroller options. For us, this is baby number four. Um, our youngest is eight years old, and so we are starting brand new from scratch um, and don't have anything from previous kiddos, so we were trying to save and pinch pennies where we could, um, but wanted to make sure we had a reliable product at the same time. Um, so in the past with previous kiddos, we've tried um, Chico. I bought a Chico travel system for our daughter um, when, she was, when I was pregnant with her. Um, it was a four-wheel uh, Chico travel system, loved the car seat, um, absolutely hated the stroller in my opinion. It had terrible function uh, as far as wheels and couldn't move it with one hand. Uh, and then when I had our son um, having two babies as they are only 16 months apart, uh, at the same time the, the Chico double stroller was what we went to. Uh, and again, same problems. The wheels were very hard to maneuver. Uh, so we decided to give the baby jogger um, city individual single stroller a um, try. And so we tried that one out, um, went on a cruise. It was amazing. It pushed through the sand um, without any, any hesitation. One hand, I could push that stroller through the sand. We liked it so much that we sold the individual uh, baby jogger city mini and we did not have a GT at that time and bought a double city mini GT uh, City mini. I'm sorry stroller not the GT model loved it same thing took it on another cruise both kids uh, Pushed like butter through the through the halls um, The the double stroller side-by-side -side is a little bit difficult to get through elevator doors and on a cruise ship obviously um, being very narrow hallways and doors made it a little bit difficult, but the maneuverability of the actual double stroller, amazing. So we decided if we could get this new baby, a baby jogger, city mini, that's what we were going to do. But we weren't willing to spend $700 on it. So with that being said, you know it's Black Friday time. Um, I'm sure some of you will be watching this video later on when we're not around Black Friday, and that's fine. There's always deals. Uh, and so on our YouTube channel, we are going to be doing a lot of reviews, tons of reviews on baby products, kid products. And so this product itself uh, is going to be, I'm sure, an amazing stroller. I've never put one of these together from scratch. Um, we've always bought them either, we bought one time a floor model um, and things of that nature. When I did buy it, I bought it the, just the stroller, not the travel system. So this is our first experience with the car seat and everything. Um, so we'll unbox it together, put it together, together, and then we're going to go over some of the cool features that this model has available. Um, and I'll also go over some of the other products and pricing. And then I will link below um, the different products you can buy on Amazon. This stroller travel system I purchased from Bye Bye Baby. Um, today I was able to go to Bye Bye Baby. They were all 20% off Baby Jogger. Now that's rare because Baby Jogger does not typically allow you to use a 20% off coupon. Uh, it's usually one of those things kind of like North Face and Under Armour. They don't let you. Baby Jogger doesn't. So it just so happened the manufacturer has a 20% off currently. So I used that. In addition to that, they allowed me to do my 15% off to fulfill my registry items. Um, and so I ended up getting 35% off of this stroller. This stroller is $599 before tax. Um, and so I ended up getting $120 off for the 20% off plus another $72 off for the 15% off. So for the entire stroller itself, I paid $456. That's pretty good for the stroller and car seat combination, especially when you look at just the car seat alone is around 300 to 350. Um, so that's a really good deal for this product. And this is a product that you will use until your baby's out of a um, infant seat and then your kiddos until they're out of a stroller. I think I used it until my kiddo was three or four years old, the stroller. Um, so it definitely got its use. Um, so City Mini Baby Jogger, before we open this box quickly, 
They have a couple different options. They have for mamas who are uh, just starting their baby journey and are going to have additional children. They have a city select model. Has four wheels. Um, has detachable seats. You can put multiple. You can make it a double stroller uh, and put double stroller or double seats in it. You can have a bassinet. That's a really cool option if you're going to have additional kids. For us, we know this is our fourth and last. Um, it's our little miracle baby, uh, and so we know we're not having a fifth. Um, so for us, we went with something that didn't need the uh, capability of having a two-seater. There is the City Mini. Uh, City Mini stroller is very similar to the GT. The GT has some cool features on it that the City Mini doesn't, um, but the City Mini is slightly cheaper in price as well. So I will link that below. I'll link all three of these strollers below. Um, you can look at them. But in my opinion, after using different brands for different kiddos, um, and this again being our fourth one, I have tried just about everything um, and have fallen in love with the stroller. It is by far the best. Um, so we'll go ahead and get to unwrapping this one. This particular model, the City Mini GT Baby Jogger, has three wheels. I love the three wheels. I think personally, in my opinion, three wheels is stronger than four. Um, some people say, aren't you afraid that the three wheels is not going to be quite as sturdy? Um, and may not, um, baby may tip over, may not be as sturdy as the four wheel. Honestly, I've had both. I think personally that the three wheels is stronger. It's also much more easy to maneuver. Um, like I said, we went through sand, we went through, we go um, camping all the time, went through dirt and dust and everything, rocks, you name it. We went through with our baby jogger city mini. Um, no problem with the three wheels. So definitely for me, I would only purchase a three wheel. Um, but I've heard good things about the four wheel also, I just have never had it, so I can't speak from personal experience. So when you open the box, there's a piece of cardboard that comes out, obviously, and I apologize, I'm using a knife for this. Um, so inside our box is gonna come two smaller boxes. And I've never used a baby jogger car seat, um, only a Chico one with an adapter to the baby jogger system, but I've heard such rave things. And if it's anything like a stroller, it's gonna be well worth it. Now you can purchase just the car seat if you choose. Um, so if you choose to purchase just the car seat or just the stroller, that is also available. And I will link both of those in my, um, in my channel below as well. Um, so you can choose just stroller, just car seat if you don't want a travel system. And they do sell attachments for just about any car seat possible. Um, there are attachments to the stroller if you choose to get a different brand um, car seat and then use the stroller. So one thing that I absolutely love about Baby Jogger um, and the systems that they have is their canopies. Their canopies are amazing. So I love the stroller canopy. Almost completely covers baby um, so that that way they're out of direct sunlight. They are UV protected at 50 plus, which is huge. That's not a ton of car seats that have that. Uh, and so I love that these canopies go so far and are covered so well. When this is on the stroller, they match. So there's no holes where baby can be seen or exposed. On uh, today's germy world, obviously, with coronavirus and everything else going on, that's important to us, right? So we wanna make sure germs stay away. The canopy is beautiful uh, for this. This is our harness here. Obviously, it gets um, tighter and looser as you pull. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, it does have some cool little guides on the side here so that it shows you exactly where um, your car seat needs to be when it's plugged into your vehicle. Uh, your base is plugged into your vehicle. Let's see, here's the handlebar here. Okay, so you push these little tabs at the back here. There's two gray tabs you'll push. You push those in uh, so that that way you can slide it up. Push it in? Yeah. It's easier to do it yourself. Here, look. Let me, yeah. Okay. I think that's as far up as it goes. So that's how that goes. And then this can go all the way up as well. To take it out of your base, you have a little, a little um, handle on the back here. Let me show you that. So there's this handle right here um, that that helps you to release it from the base. That also has this cool feature right here. 
It's a taxi safe seatbelt system. Let's say you're traveling out of state, something we do quite frequently. If you're traveling out of state and you don't wanna pack your entire base, you have the ability of latching a car seat seat belt in there and around the system so that your baby's protected via the car seat and not the actual base. So super nice feature, not many car seats have that ability. Still keeps your baby safe, keeps your car seat secure without actually having to cart a base around. It's a nice feature when you're a new mom or you're a mom period and you're carrying a thousand things, um, just one less item to have to bring with you. To take it out of your base, you pull the lever in the back and just pull it up. Um, now bear with me because I'm not sure what's stuck here. As you guys see, you're, we're doing this for the first time with you. So here's your car seat, super cute, super lightweight. That was a huge thing. We're carting these things around all the time, sometimes with um, our, our husbands, sometimes without. Um, so wanted to make sure that it was a super lightweight car seat, not something big and bulky that was gonna weigh a ton and with a you know, 13, 14, 20 pound baby in here was gonna add 60 pounds to you. Um, this is not that heavy. It's actually super light, lightweight. I can lift it with one arm easily. Um, it, very nice colors, easy to clean. This is like almost a suede microfiber type uh, material here. This insert does come out. Um, so that is an option too. This is the infant insert. Again, this is your harness here, um, your tightening latch. And then this can go directly into the seat via the, um, via the taxi system or your base. This system does come with one base. You can buy additional bases. Bye Bye Baby has them for $150. Um, you can purchase additional bases if needed. We did purchase one additional base uh, to utilize in my husband's car, but this um, we only need two because we have the two vehicles. This is the base system itself. Pretty neat for the vehicles that, if you have a vehicle that's relatively new, they all pretty much have this system. They just lock right directly into your vehicle. Um, so that's really that's a really nice feature. Um, this also has, depending on your car seat, some seats are some seats are more at an incline, some are more high. Um, so in order to make sure that you're completely level via your levelers here, um, you can raise and lower this. Really nifty. Not very many car seats have that capability. Um, so that's really cool as well. Um, again, this has a ton of different features on it. Um, which I don't know a ton about yet. I will do once my husband and I have put this all in our vehicles um, and we're actually using it, we're gonna do another review and we're gonna talk about what are things we loved, what are things we didn't really like so much, um, and what are things that we wish it did and things that we've never had before that were lifesavers for us. So we wanna get to use it a little bit before I give that feedback, but I can already tell I can vouch for the product. Um, and just by looking at it, just in, from what I've talked to everybody else about, it's got some super cool features that most don't have. Um, so again, this is a rear facing latch system here. So that just clicks back in. Um, and then this would sit this way towards your seat. And again, um, it has that lever to go up and down depending on how much of an incline your seat is at so that you make sure you keep your level um, right in the middle where it needs to be for, so that it's safest for baby and most protection. Um, okay, so this is the car seat itself. Very cool. Next, we will go ahead and open our, um, our stroller. One thing I love about the baby jogger systems is that having three children, one child, two, doesn't matter. Whenever you have kiddos, and you're going shopping, it's very difficult to have to take your stroller out if it's big and bulky, super heavy, and then to put it all together. This, you literally lift with one hand to, to, to make it uh, open, and to close, you close it with one hand. Fold super small um, so that you don't have to have a ton of space and you're able to travel out of state um, with, with the stroller without it taking up a ton of room. So that's another good feature that Baby Jogger has really um, done a great job becoming experts in. Again, very well packaged, um, very well um, put, together. put together, very well kept safe so that nothing scratches, nothing is broken. Um, Okay, so we chose to get this stroller. There's a couple different color options. 
We chose to get it in the jet color. Um, carbon is another option. Carbon is more of a gray. It actually is the same color as the insert of the uh, car seat. So it's a gray color. When I put that car seat on here, I'll show you what would change had we have gotten the carbon color. Um, but this color in particular is the jet, which is black. I chose that because I figured it matches everything. Um, it's nice and easy to clean. I've had black in the past with all my kids, girls and boys alike. Super easy to clean. Um, also for the resale value, uh, cause let's face it, we'll have this for four years. They hold their value. If you look on Facebook, garage sale or marketplace, you'll notice that these don't really lose their value. So typically when I've bought them in the past, I've sold them for not much less than I actually bought them for. So I pretty much used it for a couple of years and didn't spend a ton of money cause I was able to sell it. Um, so we chose the black, the black just for that reason. Um, plus it always looks so clean. lever that would be helpful huh so but one thing I like about the GT model that's different than your city mini regular model I really like is that this one you don't um, you don't put your wheels in park via a footrest you actually put them in park via a handle pull um, super easy right when you're like walking and trying to put the kids in park without actually having to do a whole lot. It's really nice to be able to just pull your lever and not have to worry about the foot thing and pushing. Sometimes they get stuck and having to click it back up with your foot can be a pain in the butt. Um, so super nice feature that they have that you can just pull it up on the, on the handlebar. Baby Jogger City Mini um, also is very similar to this, but it does have the foot lever to, to um, lock your wheels, not the hand lever. So that's slightly different our stroller. So first what we'll do is go ahead and attach our wheels. So the front wheel is neat. Um, it's a 360 swivel. So it doesn't go just one direction. Swivels the entire way. So again, this is where that pushing through uh, dirt, gravel, sand, there's like, it locks. You can lock it. You can also unlock it. Um, and it's super, super nice because it doesn't get stuck on anything. Um, and you can just drive through whatever. Uh, and I have no clue how to, how to unlock it, to be honest with you. So we're gonna have to figure out how to do that. That might be, I bet you this lever here. Yep, so the gray lever in the front, um, you can move that over to lock it, move it under, move it over to unlock it. So as you see, when you're pushing this wheel, um, if you hold it off the ground, that's how easy this thing moves. It is, there is no um, hesitation when this is moving. So, All right, so now we'll go ahead and put the back wheels on. And the back wheels. And you see how easy these pop on? I'm sorry, Meg. You see how easy these wheels pop on? She's trying so her hardest to help me out here and she's doing an amazing job. Um, but these pop on super easy. Look at how easy those, we, those wheels move. Um, again, it's super, super. One hand full of stuff in the back, two kids next to you, no problem moving this, maneuvering this stroller. Worth every penny. Um, especially if you've had strollers in the past where it takes two arms and you're pushing them through the zoo and you can barely, and you're, it's 100, we live in Oklahoma, it is hot here in the summer, especially we came from Michigan, so Oklahoma, super hot in the summer, we need something easy. Uh, this will be your, your item, you don't have to worry about working up a sweat, trying to push this thing around a zoo or an aquarium. One thing that's really cool about this stroller, and I'll show you more um, as we take it, as we actually use it. Let's see how this works. Okay, so one, sorry, one of the cool things about this stroller that's a little different than others, pops out from the bottom here. You can go ahead and put things in here, um, whatever you want to store in there, really neat. Another cool feature, you've got this compartment right here, you can put whatever you want in. So there's this compartment, this spot to stick storage in. This also goes um, into this little attachment here if you choose to use it. And we are, this is brand new, so it's a little tight. Keep baby's legs up um, and so that their legs aren't hanging off. So if you have a kiddo and you're using it without the car seat and just having the baby in here um, and their legs aren't quite long enough to actually bend, this is a cool feature. Older models don't have this feature, so that's super neat. Um, if you choose not to use that, you just detach it. 
and then bend that back down. And actually, just as you can tell, again, this is just the quality. It just snaps down super easy. Again, snaps in super easy. Um, let's see. Now, we have not purchased any Nifty accessories for this stroller yet. Bought it today, brand new. Um, the amount of accessories that Baby Jogger has, you can buy Baby Jogger, you can buy off-brand accessories. Target has different ones. They have the coolest little mommy racks um, for your phone, for your drinks, for your whatever. Um, you can use the stroller as a jogger or an everyday stroller. As you can tell, I'm not much of a runner. I do like to take my kids on walks, but I'm not much of a runner. Um, but I love this stroller for not only everyday use, but going to the park, walking around, holding the dog in one hand, a baby, um, and then kids running around. And so super, super nice for that. Um, and the three wheels, some people think that it's just a jogger. Doesn't, you can't use it as your everyday stroller. That's totally inaccurate. Um, and it's just as good as a, as a daily stroller as it is a jogger. I personally wouldn't purchase a jogger in addition to this. If I was going to run, I'd run with this because um, it can do both. It's a dual purpose. So you see your wheel moves around. I showed you how we can lock it as well. That's lock position. Your lock is your lever right here on the side. Let me pull that cardboard off. So let me turn this so that you can see. Your lock here is right here. So to lock your wheels, that's it. Baby's not going anywhere. It's baby's moving, stroller stay, or baby's not moving, the stroller is gonna stay. That's how we lock our wheels. If you wanna unlock, you pull these gray tabs up, flip it back, unlocked. That's it. That's how that works. Super easy, it unlocks the front wheel also, so you're not having to, with some strollers. Now we can go ahead and attach the canopy, and I'll show you guys that cool thing that I was telling you about with the canopy, and how the canopy has uh, super, super neat um, windows to view baby and how it really, really does cover the majority of the stroller. Again, this is another, look at this, this is another UV 50. Um, so it's going to block your sun rays. If you live anywhere um, that gets the sun, that gets sun in the summer, which is everywhere, especially here in the south, um, you're going to want, okay, so it slides down on that one. It just slides down. Slides down on that one. Super easy, right? Then back here, it actually zips closed. Velcro here that you Velcro the sides. Has a snap so you can snap that shut. Let me show you the side here. So we will Velcro this. Snap that. So back here, you'll see that this is completely closed. Completely closed. Nowhere that you can put your hands. It's all Velcroed, snapped. You wanted to undo that, you could. Um, this is a really cool feature. Let's say you're at the zoo, you want to open it up so you give baby some air. There's this cool toggle here. You can wrap this up uh, and then put it in here to hold that up so that that way that piece stays up to give baby protection, but at the same time, um, let them get some free flowing air in there. That's a really neat feature. Um, as you can see, this canopy, I love the canopies on Baby Jogger. They go all the way down like that. Um, super low canopy, most don't go that low. Then we have two peekaboo windows. Both are magnetic, so watch, you can see this. Snap shut, super neat, another nice feature. If you don't wanna use it and you wanna roll it up, here's again your thing to roll it up and, and hook onto it so you can hold it open. Um, that's that one, another one in the back. So let's say you're pushing, you want the middle one closed because you don't want sun exposure, but mom's pushing baby and she wants to be able to view baby while she's pushing. You have that ability as well. Same, magnetic, snap shut. Another toggle here so you can hold on to this um, if you choose to keep it open. So you do have the option of keeping both of those peekaboo windows open at all times. Cool feature with this stroller, it's different from City Mini. City Mini uh, does not have this option, the GT does, your handlebar. I'm a short person, my husband's short. Unfortunately, we both don't have that ability uh, or didn't get that, didn't get blessed with that, uh, with the height for sure. So for us, it's not a big deal. For a lot of people who are taller, um, it is a big deal. And so there's these cool buttons on the side of both sides of the handlebar, you push those in, you can adjust your handlebar as however you want it. Um, you can hook your you can hook your diaper bag on here if you have a diaper bag that hooks. You can put your mommy tray on here um, that will have your cup holder, your phone holder, everything you name it. I use I like mine about midway. 
Um, but again, it goes as low as that, but as high as that. So super tall people have the ability to still feel like it's at their level. Um, unfortunately for me, I gotta take down a couple notches. Uh, so this will be about where I'll keep it. I'll probably actually keep it one lower than that. So probably like right here is where I will keep it. So these are about, this is the harness on the inside. Neat feature about this stroller. Um, you can use it from infancy all the way up to, like I said, 50 pounds. So you can use it until baby is three, four, five years old sometimes, um, depending on the size of your kiddos. Mine have always been so small that they've used our strollers um, for years. So you can tighten these, loosen them as needed um, to make them tighter or loosener. There are one, two, three, four, four notches. So you can move it up four times. This is obviously on the lowest setting. It comes on like infant setting. Um, so if you want to put baby in here as an infant, not in the car seat, you have that ability. But if you want to put a bigger baby in here, um, you can make this so that it, it pushes, you go all the way up to the top level to where you're able to put the baby at the top level. Um, let's see here. Und you undo these here by this button. Um, you'll squeeze this button. Let's see. Pops open. Sorry, I had to figure that out. This is different than my last one. So it's pretty cool, right? This is in beautiful harness, very well made. Um, here's your circle. That's what it looks like. You pop in the right, super easy. Pop in the left, super easy. Baby's hooked in. You wanna pop it open, pop it open. They fly out, no harm. No, it's not hard to do, pretty easy. Um, let's see, my favorite part I'm about to show you guys and that is how to close it. Close it and open it is probably my favorite thing. Closing, opening, and the maneuverability of this stroller is my favorite thing about this stroller. And super easy to wipe down this material. Baby throws up, gets something on it, spills something, food, wipes right off. There is a tray you can buy. Again, this is more accessories. We will get a ton of accessories. We'll do unboxing and show you how they fit on and how they work as we purchase them. Just haven't done it yet. Um, but super neat, the, the different options that you can do um, as far as accessories. Cool thing, here's our, our nice big um, basket in the back is right here. You can fit things in there. Another neat thing I forgot to tell you guys, this actually pulls down so that if you want to make this tighter and have baby sit more straight up, um, you can pull that lever here and baby can sit straight up like this. So pretty neat. There's a pouch right here you can put things. You've got a big, huge basket down here um, with some pouches there. So you can put all kinds of things back there. Uh, as you can see, now baby is sitting up. So you have the option of baby sitting up. One cool feature about this stroller is that very few strollers lay fully back all the way to allow baby to sleep. This one, pretty much, uh, pretty much completely flat is what they're able to lay. Uh, my kids slept in this bay, in this stroller multiple days, multiple times for multiple hours um, when we were out walking around and, and running around. Then my favorite thing, and I'm sure I may have missed some things to tell you guys about in this unboxing because again, this stroller is brand new to me. Um, but my favorite thing about this stroller, maneuverability and the ease to close it So and open it. So this is how you close it. One hand, I'm at the mall, all my kids. That's literally it. And that's how big it is. Lightweight, can lift it with one hand, put it in my trunk, um, no problem. If I take it out of my car and I want to open it, that's how it comes out. There's a little lever on the side. You take it out of your car like this, there's a lever on the side here. You lift that lever on the side, one hand, your stroller's open. You can put your baby in. Very easy to do on your own without any help. So it snaps right in there. There's a little lever here if you want to pull it back out, super easy. Bear with me, I think I'm putting these in correctly, but we'll find out here in about two seconds. Here's our baby car seat. And it's in. Uh, not going anywhere. That's a pretty tight fit. One hand, again, for the car seat. To take it off, same thing as you do with your car. You're gonna push this button here, or pull this lever here. Comes right out, like butter, no problems can put this on. If you're pushing baby and baby's brand new, we're going to our first or second doctor's appointment at the doctor. Um, we're going to be super careful to make sure she's not getting around any germs. Pull these canopies uh, together here and you have literally nothing open. 
There is no open anything uh, for baby. You can open your peekaboo window. You still have that window available to you in the back to see the baby. Baby's completely covered without any interruption. That is super cute so when they're napping. They can nap in this and this is so cute because there's no other way that they can. One hand, I'm on some super thick carpet here today and I'm one hand maneuvering this back and forth. Um, very easy, no hesitation, can be moved back and forth. Again, with one hand. I don't need two hands, I don't need to struggle to do it. Super easy. Can close these again. Let's see, close my peekaboo windows here. We keep everything together. And we'll close this. And that is it, guys. So again, this particular stroller comes in a couple different colors. Um, Bye Bye Baby has it in two colors. This is the City Mini GT2 model. So it's the GT2. There's a GT and a GT2. GT2 is the newer model, very similar, a couple different features, very similar. I'm gonna link all these below. Um, but the other color that, ba that Bye Bye Baby carries is this color. So this light gray, if you choose to get that color, it's called carbon. Um, and how that's different, let me put these up so I can take this off and just show you really quickly. Last but not least, um, the only way that that's different is you'll get that light gray color as your backdrop for this. So this part here that's black, everything else will stay black, but this part where the baby lays will all be that light gray color. That's the only difference with the carbon color. Otherwise, um, it's going to be the exact same as this one here. So this is my review on the Baby Jogger City Mini GT2. Like this video, subscribe to our channel. We are going to have tons of reviews on baby products. We'll do some cool cooking things on another one of our Lynch videos. Um, but tons of baby reviews. Next is going to be we're working on some bottles to figure out what kind of bottle feeding system we'll use, breast pumps, um, you name it. Guys, like, subscribe, hit that thumbs up. And thanks for joining the Macintosh family. Bye.